MC Mining Caveman here, and welcome back to another episode on the Crystal Craft server. Well, I have finally found land that has the new rocks, well, blocks. And if you can see this, the army of the undead is here. And, uh, yeah, I can't, I cannot, I seriously cannot get anything accomplished here while it's nighttime. So I am going to hop over to my vault real quick and wait the night out. All right, back, daytime, uh, no mobs. So I can start, uh, collecting some of this stuff. It's a lot faster to uh, actually collect it than to harvest it. Uh, let's see, I was on a little bit... What was that? S not Saturday. Maybe it was Saturday. Saturday evening. And I was actually in the nether collecting a bunch of quartz to make some more of the blocks. And uh, got... I guess I tapped a pigment or something and pissed them all off and I was getting killed repetitively but I was not spawning at that area and uh, so I kept going back and the uh, uh, chat messages made it look like I was being spawn killed by them when in fact I was slashed back into them. Oh, one of the staff being trying to be helpful, uh, TP'd me out of there right as I was doing a bat command and I lost the location of my death spot and had ended up losing my looting sword that I've had for, well it's one of the named ones for when I got my rank that I've had forever and lost an efficiency I mean a fortune 3 pickaxe and um, let's see what else well I had diamond armor on but it was all crap armor so I wasn't too worried about that uh, let's see a bunch of quartz on me and that all got lost uh, some food and I think I had some gold from, yeah, I think I had a bunch of gold nuggets from, Inter uh, not Enderman, from uh, Zombie Pigmen um, before I got overwhelmed. But yeah, with the, uh, I lost the uh, spot when, uh, when I was uh, TP'd back to spawn right as I did my slash back command and so somehow it glitched out and removed my uh, removed where I was going back to trying to get the coordinates so I could go back and collect my uh, items and so uh, I was screwed out of that uh, stuff uh, not that big of a deal honestly because I can remake just about all of it the only thing I was really wanting back was my sword um, but it was a looting three unbreaking three um, sharpness four and so I was kind of wanting that back so I told stat told him what was actually going on and so I ended up giving him the items to uh, remake it um, because it had my name on it and so um, I would have been able to get back to it and collect it myself if I hadn't been TP'd out of there because they thought that I was being spawn killed by piggies and couldn't uh, respond in chat regarding what problem I was having. So, um, 
it was assembled and J. Floria uh, put back uh, my name on it and uh, all is good again. In fact, this is I made brand new crap armor and it's already almost busted up again. I'm loving, uh, not loving, falling in holes. I'm loving finding all this uh, block naturally spawning. Still have not found a uh, underwater uh, an ocean temple. I have traveled another ocean since the last episode and did not find anything in there either. And it was actually that one. So there, you know, this is new. New terrain generation, obviously, with these blocks, and there was still no ocean temple there. So I think it's safe to say that uh, ocean temples may not render in this uh, version of 1.8 that we're using at the moment. Um, it was uh, better explained to me by Infinite that uh, I think. Yeah, Infinite was the one that did most of the explanation, and Jay Flory has kind of filled in some information as well. But what it is is a uh, is it's like a patch that allows certain 1.8 items to uh, exist in this. Uh, I think it's still like a 1.7.10 shell. I, I, I may be getting some of this stuff really wrong, and I don't mean to mislead any of you if I am getting it wrong, but uh, the, uh, the patches are being written individually so that it does not violate the uh, Microsoft uh, rights of usage now that they own micro, uh, Minecraft. So each of the function, each of the uh, individual things are being added individually, um, coded individually. So that's why there are bugs uh, still present, like uh, the doors from last episode I did. They still don't stack properly, but you can craft them and use them. Uh, also, mutton drops and cooks, but you cannot eat it because uh, it's not supported into the uh, the eating function is not supported in the code yet even though it's still a drop item and uh, let's see what else is acting weird oh slime blocks now um, I was helping some guys out um, I've been actually it's the uh, P mod and I, I'd i have to check on the forums to see what it stands for, but I think it was something like uh, potatoes of, no, potatoes. Well, it's potatoes something. And uh, I just kind of put in a team join request and uh, they accepted me. It's actually uh, Bigfoot and uh, Thunder Rain. They're taking charge of the team and I just don't have the time to be uh, in charge of a team and so I was just gonna go solo for a while but uh, now they went ahead and accepted me. Um, they finally I was able to be on the same time that one of them were on and they gave me a TP out to the location. It's still just now being built so I'm not going to exactly show anything off yet. But it's an underground uh, structure and then uh, a couple hundred blocks away there's a, a villager a village with villagers and it's kind of we're trying to I guess kind of do uh, 
protect the uh, villager scenario um, when we had that uh, chunk loaded there's a wall around it all uh, around the village and all to keep them safe and they've already got uh, iron golems spawning there so that's that's all covered let's see so andesite andesite then granite and then diorite and diorite's the base stone to make the others but this stuff is at least in these uh, uh, extreme hills biomes, it seems to be quite plentiful. I was really beginning to think that I was never going to find new terrain, which is kind of scary. Uh, that everywhere that I was exploring that I've not explored before... Um, around the the old stone swords base, around the old stone shovels base, both of them, and I was going thousands, well, actually between five and eight thousand blocks out in uh, random directions, and was not getting any of the new block generation. And that's, uh, like, how many people have actually been out there that have crossed these, uh, you know, have traveled through these areas and may or may not have come across other people's bases by just a couple thousand blocks, if that, um, like, uh, the stone shovels uh, bases, you know, were all above ground. Uh, we had beacons, which I think are only actually viewable at 170 blocks. So you could be 200 blocks from the beacon and not even see it, and you could completely miss out on somebody's base if they had one uh, blaring. But like the old stone, well, the old stone sword base, which is all dug is the giant hole in the ground now uh, there is no way you can't see that when you come across it uh, it's from you know ocean level all the way down to uh, bedrock oh and I don't have food eat 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 alright I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, who all's on? Uh, others are on. So I am going to go uh, back to the vault and wait this night out. Alright, I'm back. I did a few other things. I uh, went into the nether again and came across another fortress came out with like 22 ingots of gold out of the chest a uh, single diamond um, two diamond horse armor I left gold and iron horse armor left the saddles left the nether wart and so and uh, took out a couple blaze spawners and uh, only saw three uh, wither skellies and uh, one of them dropped a head. So I'll have to go through all my heads and find out how many I actually have. All right, so this, this entire chamber, all this dug out stuff is the three new blocks. So it spawns... Uh, pretty efficiently. Oh, let's see, that's... 
And uh, I was going to complain about the uh, lack of lack of uh, granite spawning, but uh, it seems like you just have to hit the right vein, and uh, it it all looks like it ends up being about fairly even. Let's see. There's more diorite over there. I want the andesite and the granite is what I'm really wanting. I think uh, the andesite is going to be my favorite because it turns into this polished stuff and to me it looks like uh, concrete. So I'm hoping it'll work well with the stone brick. Oh yeah, uh, before I had cut, I was talking about uh, things with the uh, 1.8 code. Um, currently, uh, the, uh, the reason why the enchanting mechanics that I showed on last episode uh, why there's the uh, uh, lapis, uh, three lapis already inside it, is because and the uh, the name of the enchant was not showing up is because it's still using the 1.7 code, and so the uh, the lapis is in there by default so that you automatically get the. Uh, the right enchantment levels based off of uh, uh, bookcases versus your lapis. So once that uh, once that code gets uh, uh, figured out and fixed, um, we'll start being on the new the 1.8 uh, enchanting mechanics. And also, because of it's still 1.7 uh, with the 1.8 code, that's why the anvils, the anvils have their own borked problem. Um, even though it shows the 1.8 um, uh, GUI, the the graph graphical interface uh, the it's still 1.7 base so even if it shows that uh, like if you were trying to repair a diamond pickaxe um, that's got you know three enchantments on it say on breaking uh, looting and efficiency well, the first time you throw it on the anvil, it's going to say some low number, like 3 or 4 or something. Um, but that's actually not what it's going to... Uh, 3 or 4 XP levels, but that's not exactly what it's going to take um, in the 1.7 code. So, unfortunately... Uh, if you're going to do some sort of repairs or renaming, you might as well get up to 30 levels and then g go throw the stuff on an anvil and then see how much it's going to take. Um, and the only way you can see how much it's, it's going to take is when it's done. Uh, after you've already done it, and whatever's left is what's left. Here, let me let me get out of here before the undead kills me, and let me show you how much I've gotten so far. Now, the diorite, a lot of it was made uh, before I could figure out how to get the other ones made, but I got some polished already and almost a chest of diorite. Uh, andesite is uh, that's almost a chest worth. Got a row of polished. 
and then granite was what was getting hard was being difficult to find and I've only got one stack of polished so far get rid of those for now um, oh, this one. no let's save the cobble for now because let's see how much oh yeah and I think yeah I'm full up on bones again uh, let's go ahead and just make all of these and then leave that so turn these into granite so you take oh that's polish you take diorite so what is that one two three six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight eight stacks one it's a one to one ratio when you when you take the diorite and add uh, quartz make granite or diorite plus another cobblestone to make andesite but yeah it's just a one-to-one -one ratio it's not a uh, X pattern like come on there we go. Wow. there we go yeah this is what I was trying to do last time but it's not an X pattern it is just one-to-one -one ratio It is a uh, shapeless crafting, so you can have them in any order. Yep. And then let's go ahead and polish another stack of those. So we've got two stacks of that. Move this stuff over. There we go. So now I got a little bit of uh, each of them. Uh, let's see, still, still nighttime. So there's my wither skull. Um, let's see, do I have anything that needs to be taken over? I think I already did. Yeah, those are just books. Um, no heads in here, but I'll go ahead and. I have no idea why those are there. Oh, one of those was supposed to be. One of those is supposed to be uh, Nether portals. One's Nether portals, and the other one. Flowing lava. That's what that was. Let's see. Is that not an option anymore? Or did the codes change? Yeah, I don't see a, a lava source block anymore. And this is this is a this is TMI uh, for my single player stuff, creative worlds. It does not work. All it is is a menu. It shows you a menu of all the uh, codes and stuff for when you're in creative. But yeah, I don't. So there's a uh, rabbit hide. Still haven't found any of that. Haven't seen any rabbits. Of course, the prismarine. You need to find an ocean temple for that stuff. Okay, uh, so so Nether portal and uh, lava source has changed, and I bet you, oh oh oh, that's right. There's a new what? I 
don't know. We'll leave that alone. Because usually when you have a block like that, it ends up crashing something. Alright, so... Let's come out here. Make a bunch of blocks out of these. Oh, need another block. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Supposed to be nine. I was thinking of the uh, number of that it needs blockwise around an apple. So plop this in and wait. Where's my achievement for it? Build a notch apple. That's what I did gold blocks. Alright, let's try this again with, uh, okay. oh, that's right, up here. Let's try this again with, because Notch is supposed to be the enchanted apple, which is the blocks. and then the super golden apple. Why did... well, maybe that's another uh, glitch in the system. Building notch apple. See, that one's taken. Um, I was having trouble getting this one for the longest time, and apparently it gave it to me without being in the chat. So, I've been working on it, and actually I'd already had it. So, everything is taken. Yes, everything is taken except for adventuring time, which I think I'm down to f four or five biomes left. And then this notch apple. Let's let's go ahead and try a notch apple again. That's good. Block those all up. up. Need another apple. Do that every time. Now I had a sign on there a long time ago and it just randomly disappeared one day. Alright, so did I shift click it out last? No. Uh, let me read it. Do you have to eat it? Uh, nope. Build a notch apple. Alright, well. There's another one of those. Oh, actually, I need to block these up. So, what is this one? Voting gold. And so, let's just fill those in. Not efficient. Should just backed out of the menu. Oh. Started over, but oh well. We got it. We got it fig figured out. Um, dirt. Oh yeah, I haven't not finished the football field yet. I uh, still need to sort those books. Let's actually hop over to the museum. Now a lot of a lot of people have pointed out that I cannot be raided because I have everything in my bedrock vault uh, protected in spawn. Uh, that is only sort of true. Yes, I have uh, the potion room and uh, some of my uh, diamond armor, well, most of my diamond stuff, all my ores. Uh, but really is building blocks. This right here, this museum, has all the good stuff. Uh, it's got all the drop party stuff. Actually, these are unsorted right here. Um, 
but yeah, these are all things from past. So all these heads, let's see, Fort, Crystal Craft, Reagan, Spitfire, Putin, Dex. Yeah, I actually, I haven't been able to see whose these are because I haven't been using a, uh, uh, the proper, huh? For some reason, those up oh, that one stacked. Okay, popcorn, popcorn. Huh? Looks like some of them stack. Up oh, presents and whatever. Creeper's head. Uh, let's see, more heads, another Reagan, or uh, basic, those are default heads, and then all the drop party stuff is on this side, uh, sorted by uh, when it was until, it until the end of May. Because that's when I was unable to attend uh, Saturday events anymore. So all of June and July. Now some people gave me some stuff. But I was never told what drop parties they were. Uh, what, what drop parties they belonged to. So those are unsorted. And then I think it was the end of July... Um, when it pretty much stopped being a uh, a weekly thing. And yeah, see these, they all go to somewhere. And then here in the middle is the uh, Team Stone Sword Sword, which we don't exist anymore. And that was for uh, me getting a t-shirt, an in real life t-shirt. So yeah, this this is somewhere out in the world. So this is a big score if anybody does find it. Because this stuff is all unique. Uh, you cannot replicate it, duplicate it, copy it. Uh, and if it gets uh, raided, uh, staff does not replace this sort of stuff. So I do have some, some good stuff out there. Um... see yep I got a home set at Jensen's place just in case the server gets reset I can hop over there and salvage his stuff real quick um, actually I don't need the witch hut anymore um, that Let's see. Uh, delete home station. Don't need that anymore. That was over at Stone Shovels 2. But I've got one set there. Um, football mine. Mining is where I'm getting all the new uh, block types. Arena. That's right outside the main doors. And then all the the corners of the borders. Uh, let me go check this old gold farm. I know somebody nuked it. Um, but it's salvageable if I wanted to put some time into it. But I'd have to put... Uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, well, I'll be down here then. Yeah, piggies just fall in the water, but um, it's somewhat salvageable. It needs a new base, and it needs trapdoors put on all the uh, uh, portal frames so that they'll walk off. Let's see. Let's come over here onto this uh, 
dirt pillar. Alright. So yeah, that's uh I think that's fixable, honestly. And uh Yeah, but a lot of people know where this is, so I don't think I'm gonna really put too much effort in it. But if you're up there and you let it run a while, I've noticed that, uh, well, I went through one of those portals and it comes out, comes out right here. So I have this uh, piggy uh, catch area right here uh, so that uh, they don't, because they usually are pissed off when they come through for some reason. So I had them collect there, and I got uh, almost two stacks of gold ingots, killing off the number of piggies, well, pigmen that were, that were in there. All right, I think I'll hop back over to my vault and uh, check, check uh, the time on my video. So, just one moment. All right, well, I just checked the uh, length of the video and I'm running past the uh, half hour mark, uh, which I'm trying not to, which I've been trying not to do. I know I haven't really accomplished anything. I had a lot of talking again, but I didn't really have much chance to get anything uh, started. I've got dirt collected to finish the football field, but uh, I don't think you guys need to see that again. No, because I still need to do the numbers. So yeah, I guess I'll work on that some, and uh, hopefully that'll be uh, finished in time for the next video that I make. Um, a lot of stuff requires uh, grind work, uh, and when I don't have the time to do the grinding, uh, unfortunately it ends up being a talky episode where I show off uh, other things. So uh, please uh, bear with me as I get stuff uh, accomplished. But do, do please go ahead and click the like button down below. It, uh, it helps me out uh, by uh, boosting my channel, uh, which in turn uh, boosts uh, CrystalCraft server because it is the uh, sole server I play on and uh, advertise uh, with my uh, videos. So also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead. Um, I faithfully make these videos. Um, unfortunately, they're not on a regular basis anymore, but I've faithfully been making these for over a year, and I continue to continue to plan on making them for the foreseeable future. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.